Okay, so this is um, a Pen Zero Part Time Hero time lapse of the. It's a fan art of the episode. The I think it's called the Porcelain Guy or something like that. It's about like it's an Indiana Jones spinoff, but it's based on like toilets. I don't know, but it was a real. It's a really cool episode. I liked it. I at least like the designs. Um, so anyway, uh, the, the picture pretty much looks done at the beginning of the video because I uh, I didn't know that the Mac computer actually had a built-in screen capture software. It's called QuickTime Player, and also that um, the iMovie the version that I have I don't know what it is. It, I just know it's purple. Um, it had a time-lapse feature on it, so I, I could have recorded the entire thing, but sadly I didn't, yeah. Well, anyway, since the sketching and stuff, it's not present in this video, I might as well talk about them. So at first I, um, sketched the cart and the characters, and then I sketched the background. Um, and then in order to... Uh, like separate the each, um, the background from each character and each character from other parts of the picture. I actually um, set the sketch on multiply and I um, sorry for all the ums. I put the uh, I put a block of color over the character so that I can um, just it was just a medium tone gray. So I could add in all the highlights and all the darks, and I set that on multiply, and then I added the color. Um, digital coloring for me was a struggle before, but then like I started watching things on color theory, like stuff by Sykra, Sykra Yassin. He's a really good um, YouTube artist, and uh, he said, <clears throat> whatever is the main color in your... Uh, picture, then that will be the most saturated whatever is opposite the main color. Like, in this picture, the main color was red, and the opposite was green. Um, the green would be really desaturated, and the main color would have the entire range. Like, it could be as saturated or desaturated as you want it to be. And then the colors in between, they'll have their in-between range ranges, sorry, um, depending on, like, uh, how close they are relative to the main color. Anyway, um, I at first wanted to go for like a painterly style, as I did in my other digital speed paint. I'm doing this one on the computer. My previous one of the semi-realistic self-portrait was done on my iPad. This one's done in Sketchbook Pro 7. Um, and it's like Photoshop, but so much easier. I don't, I never, um, used Photoshop at home, but at my school we do. <laughs> I had to keep looking back at the reference sheet in order to understand it. But, um, anyway, uh, in order to do the grayscale, like, you see here now that there's this layer that it's, I turned off the layer so you can't see it. Yep, there you go. Um, that's actually, uh, I just filled an entire layer with the color black, and then I set it on hue, which, um, I don't know what it does. I know it just, it acts like a desaturation. Um, so it completely desaturates everything and lets me focus on all the hues and stuff, and coloring in Sashi's glasses. I, I keep doing that in order to check, um how the saturation, well, not the saturation, how the lighting and the shadows are. I also struggled with the lighting in this too. But I I kind of fixed it. But I feel like, in the end, it was a little too bright. But I actually I still kind of like this. But in the background, it looks so shell, not shell, cell shaded, but then the characters themselves, they look really painted, like painterly, something like that. And, uh, now I'm just adding in, 
I merged the entire background. I'm adding in the, I was adding in the, what's it called? The speed marks. So it makes it look like they're going, they have some sort of motion. And then, uh, before the characters were like pixely around the edges, so I just took the blur tool and I, um, I just went around the edges so that it doesn't look like it was copied and pasted there. Uh, let's see here. I have a, a script. <laughs> well, no, it's not even a script. It's just notes. I wrote it in my sketchbook. Hmm. Uh, talking for seven minutes is harder <laughs> than I thought it would be. Okay. Anyway, I, I love Pen Zero Part-Time Hero. It deserves more recognition. I mean, I love the art style, the humor, and the characters themselves. Uh, I can't pick a favorite, but... Mm, I don't know. I know that Pen's supposed to be the protagonist, uh, which means I would relate to him the most, but I think... I don't know, I like Boon. I also like Sashi. I love how like each, each um different world they go to they have a different and unique style. Uh, let's see here. Eh. Uh, in this picture, like Boone looks sick. I love Boone. Uh, I actually have um. You're going to see the name of the account in the end credits, but it's um an Ask account. It's called Ask the Part Time Heroes. And I know, you can think whatever you want about me, but I I really enjoy the show and I just felt like it. I wanted to do an Ask account for all the characters. So if you want, you can go on my Instagram, leave a question there, and um, I don't know, I'll just do a sketch and yeah. I'll do a sketch answering your question and having the characters interact. Uh... Anyway, I have 25, 24 seconds left of video. Do, 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 do. Eh, here are the end credits. Oh, no. iMovie was being, okay, um, really derpy on me, so I was having trouble with uh, typing these in. Anyway, I have Tumblr, DeviantArt, two Instagram accounts, one art account. It's called Burning Gimri Art. And... If you want, you can even check them in the description as well.